Okay, everybody, we've got another fantastic add-on airport by the team over there at Burning Blue Design. It's Denim Aerodrome, just west of London in the UK. And uh, this general aviation aerodrome has been operating for over 100 years. And what we're going to do for a start is do a bit of a comparison between the default Microsoft Flight Simulator scenery and this add-on package. We're at the north side of the aerodrome right here and I'm going to show you in more detail some of the features you get with this uh, add-on scenery and uh, first of all you can see the custom ground textures that they've implemented uh, into this add-on and just below us here is the control tower and we're going to pop down inside here uh, because there's one feature in here that I absolutely love excuse me the uh, controller right there who's wondering what the heck's for lunch but this little uh, rectangle device right here let me zoom in so we can actually see it properly this right here is an analog weather uh, instrument. We'll get there eventually, Mace. And it's actually working. So it's going to tell you the barometric pressure, the Q&H. It's going to tell you the wind speed and direction. And it's uh, reflecting exactly what's happening outside this window here. So I thought that was a pretty cool little feature. You're also going to see some dynamic scenery. So things or people around the airport are going to change depending on the time of day. So we'll just jump up here and take a look. Uh, we're currently here at uh, 8.14 a.m. So let's just go through. There we go, 9.53 a.m. This guy's come along. Uh, and we've got a lady sitting down at the bench here and another guy over on that picnic table. Uh, let's progress the day further a bit more. And oh, that lady's loving the day out in the airport. There we go. Later on in the day, they've disappeared. And then as we come into night, it's probably worth taking a look at the night textures earlier on, actually. So let's do that right now. But as you can see, you've got that, that guy there is dedicated. Look at him. He's still up there loving life. But uh, those textures are definitely going to change throughout the day. You're going to get different people standing there. But one thing I wanted to show you is what it looks like at night. You have got a uh, runway with runway lights. So you can zoom in, in here at night, which is always handy. And you can see... Uh, the other areas that are lit so at the southern part of the airport that is actually the helicopter maintenance terminal and the flight uh, flight training center which we'll take a look at in more detail in a minute but uh, it's good to have that uh, runway lit up there and uh, like i said we've got some dedicated controllers down over here i mentioned earlier on about the flight training and what you're going to see is some custom cessna 152s right here we've got one in front of us and a line there to the left uh, operated by the Pilot Center. Now, originally this was an RAF base back at the war, uh, used to train cadets, but now it's mainly charter flights. Uh, you've got flight training, you've got some film operations, and also helicopter maintenance. I've also got a static version here of the de Havilland Chipmunk for all you, uh, for you old-time aviation lovers. Uh, so that's a cool piece of scenery, and look at that uh, hangar. It really has got a lot of detail on there. Further down the southern side of the aerodrome here, this is the helicopter maintenance center. Uh, and you can see the R44 is another static aircraft there just uh, hanging around. Um, you've also got these, uh, got these hangars here and compared to most scenery, you can actually bump into it. It's different, see? Usually, if I come through here, one thing I notice, see? I get bumped up across the top of it. Usually those are totally... Uh, transparent and you can walk right through them but uh, for these they're actually a solid piece of uh, scenery which is a little bit different a little bit more realistic so you don't jump into a hangar with just nothing inside it and it wouldn't be a uh, flight simulator airport add-on video without checking out the meals and look at that there goes the crew room in there with the chalkboard all nicely modeled we've got the barman in there behind there ready to serve some non-alcoholic -alcohol drinks I'm sure uh, but also another nice touch with the outdoor furniture right here 
And to finish things off, we're outside the aptly named Biggles Restaurant. I wouldn't mind going here. I think this looks pretty good. Where you can have a hard-earned drink at the end of the day, I'm sure. Very safely, of course. Uh, which is obviously probably a local favourite, I would imagine. And of course, named after the famous fictional aviator. But uh, if we bump up here, guys, there we go. We've got Denim Aerodrome. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is you've got the accurate placement of all the taxiways and runways right here, as you can see as we pan up above it, all the proper markings. So, you know, certainly an airfield to enjoy, particularly if you're into general aviation. Perhaps a good base for your um, career mode if you're doing something like FS Economy, On Air, Neo Fly, something like that. Definitely a cool little uh, GA aerodrome. Links in with a lot of the other aerodromes that uh, Burning Blue have put together. So check out the link in the description if you're interested in this. Go and uh, take a look at their site. They've got this aerodrome available just released last week uh, with a bunch of other aerodromes also. So go and check them out. Uh, they're starting to build quite a nice little network of these really highly detailed local aerodromes. It's their specialty really and once again they've done a fantastic job. Thanks to the team at Burning Blue for giving me the opportunity to take a look through the uh, through the airport. And uh, once again, thank you all for taking the time to watch a video. Uh, if you're new, how about consider subscribing? Uh, smash that like button too, why not? And until next time, everybody, take it easy.